Welcome everybody to a new episode of Blitz and Talk and today I will have my rematch and hopefully my revenge against Magnus at the age of 10. Chess engine on chess 24 which embodies Magnus Carlsen's strength when he was 10 years old. The first game didn't go too well so I'm hoping today I can beat him. Let's go to chess 24. Here we are and let's challenge this guy okay computer and there he is and game is loading and here we are and this time i'm playing with the black pieces just have a quick look if everything's going fine looks good and we can start he plays e4 and i play the sicilian knight c3 come on close sicilian that's okay oh he changed his mind well i like to see that and we actually enter the knight off great that's what i like to see the sharpest knight off bishop g5 i don't think carlson himself would play like that honestly knight f5 what in the world is this I've never seen this move in my life. Who knows, might be a novelty. Um, <coughs> question is, can I punish him for this move right away? I could just play g6, that would be very sensible. Queen a5 is another move. I play queen a5. You know, I want to punish him right away. Knight takes e4 is a threat which he ignores. g6 is another move, but knight takes e4 looks pretty good. Um, I don't know if he had prepared something. Queen g4. Okay, is there anything going on? Um, I'll just take on c3. And then... That looks fine. Is knight takes d6 move I have to watch out for? I don't think so. Not right now. I take on c3 and this just looks like I'm completely winning here uh, knight e5 double attack, queen, bishop, knight this must be over here actually okay, takes but nothing going on, I just take back queen e4 now I could even exchange queens if I wanted to <coughs> but I think my queen is in quite a good good place right now. I was thinking bishop e6, maybe knight e3 is possible then. Um, ah, just let's take off the queens. I'm too scared against computer. Always take off the queens so he doesn't mate you somehow. Okay, now I just, I'm just up a piece for nothing. Up a piece and um, a pawn, so it's just completely winning. Um, okay, give a check, can't be wrong. And now bring out my bishop. Just have to make sure I don't get my bishop caught up. Mm, rook b1. Okay, b5. He offers a draw. I think rook b4 might have been strong. Um, then really my bishop would have been in trouble. But this way I think I get my bishop out to e4 and now I'm safe again. Okay, now it's too late. Now I can play d5 and my bishop is super safe. a4. Okay, I'll just develop and play rook fc8. <coughs> okay, he gives up his rook. That's nice to see. So now I'm up a full rook. And I 
I play, give a check first. If he goes to e2, I can play rook a c, and if he goes to c1, now I can just take the pawn on b6. And well, that game shouldn't last much longer. Just take here. I'll go back here. Oh, that was not a good idea. Rook takes g7. <coughs> uh, always have to be careful till the end. Um, I want to at least give up my rook in a smart way. So I give a check here. Go check here, and now I take. This is still winning, of course, but I just made my task a little bit more difficult. More difficult than it needed to be. Okay, bring the king to the center. And I think I can just start running with this pawn. And I don't think he can stop the pawn. He offers another draw, but nah, I'm not. I'm not here for a draw. Okay, I'll just keep running till the end. Um, nothing stopping me. And okay, now it's just completely winning again. Um, yeah, I guess I queen. Okay, and that's the only problem with computers. They don't know when to resign. Um, it's long overdue. So I, I guess I have to mate him or. We'll see. I'll try to make it quick. Make some pre moves here and there. Just have to make sure I don't, I don't um, stalemate him. But okay, I'm confident I won't. And that should be made pretty soon. Okay. And there we go. Did it. Ah, finally. My revenge. It wasn't a completely clean win, I have to be honest. Um, it was a little bit uncareful uh, early on well okay in the opening he just played complete nonsense and then um, I think here I messed up if he plays rook b4 here I don't think I'll keep my bishop because now bishop f5 he plays e4 and then Bishop g4, he plays h3. And um, I would still have a really good position. Though. I mean, I could just take and I'm up two pawns, of course, still completely winning. But, you know, you shouldn't allow that necessarily. So maybe after rook a b1, maybe I'll just, just retreat to bishop f5, give up this pawn. And I mean, there's no rush play anything really h6 to push this uh, this fellow away and then okay this is just winning in each and every way pretty much all right so i got my revenge finally i hope you enjoyed this game and i'll see you next time bye